With the 18th pick in the 2024 WNBA draft, the Las Vegas Aces select Kate Martin, University of Iowa. With the 18th pick in the 2024 WNBA Draft, the Las Vegas Aces select Iowa guard Kate Martin. But the truth is, she wasn't even supposed to be here. Oh man, a lot of emotions. Um, I'm really happy to be here. I was here to support Caitlin, but you know, I was hoping to hear my name called and all I wanted was an opportunity and I got it, so I'm really excited. This speaks true volumes of Martin's character. She was there to support Caitlin, but to her surprise, she got drafted as well. And it seems like Kate is already putting in the work with her new teammates. I know many of you Kate Martin fans are excited to see your journey in the WNBA. Will Martin succeed at the next level? Are her teammates even good? Can Martin win a WNBA championship in her first year? The short answer to all those questions is yes. Actually, it's an overwhelming yes. But it isn't just sports teams sharing their Aces pride. Our cameras captured the billboard up at the MGM. The Resorts World Marquee also uh, celebrating our back-to-back -back champions. We are one proud city this morning. Kate just got selected to the best team in the WNBA. They just went back to back and it seems like they're going to go for a three-peat this year. But let's talk about it. Firstly, I'm going to tell you all about the offseason moves the Las Vegas Aces have made. Firstly, they signed Megan Gustafson to an unprotected two-year deal. All Kate Martin and Io fans should be happy because they played together at Iowa and had success. Next, I want to talk about the Las Vegas Aces and their training camp contracts. The Aces signed Sydney Colson, Bria Hartley, Bria Bell, Kamira McDaniel, and Morgan Jones. But the WNBA unfortunately only has 12 teams, meaning that they have to cut some players. And lastly, the Las Vegas Aces acquired some new players through the draft. With the 16th overall pick, the Las Vegas Aces selected Daisha Fair, who's a very shifty guard. Two picks later, K. Martin went at 18th, and then Elizabeth Killey went 24th. The Aces also selected Angel Johnson with a 36th overall pick, but she'll most likely get cut. It's also good to know that Killey will not officially sign until next season because she got injured. And I'd be happy if I was an Aces fan because she was a first round talent, but unfortunately got injured. But now it's time to talk about the starting lineup and the Aces key players. The first player I want to talk about is Asia Wilson, one of the best players in the league. Asia Wilson is one of the most impressive players in the WNBA. She's averaging 23 points per game 10 rebounds and 2 assists. She's also one of the best defensive players in the league averaging 2.2 blocks and 1.4 steals. She's been the number one player for the number one team in the WNBA for the past two years. And last year to close out the series against the New York Liberty she dropped 24 points and 16 rebounds. There's really nothing you could say about her that's negative. She averaged a career high in points, rebounds, and blocks. She's also one of the most reliable players shooting 56% from the field and played every single game for the past three seasons. If you're an incoming Aces fan watch out for her she basically makes every single play on the court. She's a very likable figure, and I think that all Aces fans should love her. The next player I want to talk about is Kelsey Plum, the second best player on the Las Vegas Aces. The Aces shooting guard averaged 19 points per game, 2 rebounds, 5 assists, and 1 steal. If you love watching sharpshooters and tough guards, you should definitely watch her. Plum shot 48% from the field, 39% from 3, and 91% from the free throw line. She really commands the court and is a really good one-two punch with Asia Wilson. Last year in the WNBA Finals, she struggled in the closing game, only dropping 7 points, 8 rebounds, and 5 assists. But in the 3 games before, before that, she dropped 29 points, 23 points, and 26 points respectively. Kelsey Plum may be a little inconsistent from time to time, but she's still a top 15 player in the league. The third best player on the Aces is Jackie Young, the first overall pick in 2019. Last year, she played all 40 games, averaging 18 points, 4 rebounds, and 4 assists. Jackie is also one of the most efficient players in the WNBA. Last season, she shot 52% from the field, 45% from 3, and 87% from the free throw line. Jackie's scoring production has improved over each of her last 5 seasons, and it's safe to say that she had the best season of her career last year. She was also a key contributor against the Liberty, dropping 16 points, 2 rebounds, and 7 assists in Game 4. The next best player for the Aces is the veteran point guard, Chelsea Gray. In that last clip, she threw a behind-the-back pass to Asia Wilson. It's safe to say that the point guard is one of the best passes in the league. Chelsea played all 40 games, averaging 15 points, 4 rebounds, and 7 assists. And it seems like everybody on the Aces can shoot. She's shooting 42% from 3 and 90% from the free throw line. Her main highlight of the season was in Game 2 in the WNBA Finals, when she dropped 20 points, 6 rebounds, and nine assists. Unfortunately, she was injured for the Game 4 matchup, but it seems like she's going to be healthy for the 2024 campaign. The 31-year-old has been a reliable contributor for years, but her performance in 2023 puts her among the league's elite talent. The final player to round out the starting five for the Las Vegas Aces is somebody we already know. 
Candace Parker. Parker was acquired by the Las Vegas Aces in 2023, but she only played 18 games this season. Her stats are solid though for playing 24 minutes per game. Parker averaged 9 points per game, 5.4 rebounds, 3.7 assists, 1.5 steals, and almost 1 block a game. Her shooting splits aren't too terrible either. She's shooting 33% for the 3 and 90% for the free throw line. The 38 year old season ended on July 7th in a game against the Dallas Wings. It was 3 months she couldn't play and it seems like she determined to get back on the court this season. I've just finished talking about the 5 starters and now it's time to talk about their key role players. The center off the bench, Kia Stokes, is one of the first players I want to talk about that's a good role player. Sure, her stats don't jump off the paper as she's only averaging 2.2 points, 6 rebounds, and 1 assist, but it's really her defense and her reliability that keeps her in the league. For the team that eventually won it all, she played every single game, averaging 20 minutes per game and 1 block. Kia is the glue to this Las Vegas Aces team and she's known as one of the best rebounders and shot blockers in the WNBA. This season, she's going to be on the bench, subbing in and out for Candace Parker, but per 40 minutes, she averages 12 boards and 2 blocks. The next role player I want to talk about is Alicia Clark. Clark is a 5'11 small forward, but she can really play the guard position. Clark is really just here for defense. She averages 7 points per game, 3 rebounds, 1 assist, and half a steal. In this video, you can see her guarding Sabrina Inescu, and in game, she guards her again. The veteran Clark was a key component in their wins against the New York Liberty. In game 2, she dropped 8 points and 5 rebounds. In game 3, she dropped 7 points and 2 rebounds. In game 4, she dropped 9 points and 5 rebounds. And lastly, in the closing game, she played 37 minutes, dropped 10 points and 8 rebounds. Her and Kia are the glue of this team and without them they wouldn't win at all. And now it's time to talk about Kate Martin and how she fits into this team. In the WNBA you're only allowed 12 players per team and right now the Aces have a little bit more than that. To combat this issue the WNBA implemented the training camp and it's gonna see if the players are good enough to make the team. I personally think that Kate Martin will make the team very easily. She was the second star to Caitlin Clark and she's just a very likable character. But the other two rookies aren't locks to make the team. Let's talk about it. With the 16th pick in the 2024 WNBA Draft, the Las Vegas Aces select DeAsia Fair, Syracuse University. It was amazing hearing so many of the players who would go up against DeAsia Fair towards the end of the season get to the podium afterwards and talk about how difficult she is to stop, how much respect they have for her game, and now she takes that game to the professional level. With the 24th pick in the 2024 WNBA Draft, the Las Vegas Aces select Elizabeth Kitley from Virginia Tech. Elizabeth Kitley, who was the key member of the dynamic duo with Georgia Amor last year, taking Virginia Tech to the Final Four. This year had her career shortened just at the end due to injury, but gets selected here to the Las Vegas Aces after an unbelievably decorated career. A three-time ACC Player of the Year who tore ACL in the final game of the regular season, but is headed to the home of the two-time defending champs, the Las Vegas Aces. Kate Martin will play alongside Daisha Fair this year and will wait for Elizabeth Kelly to come back from her injury. Daisha Fair is probably one of the best players in college basketball right now. I'm going to go through a rundown of her stats. The 5'5 guard averaged 22 points this year, 5 rebounds, and 4 assists. Her shooting splits aren't too good, shooting 40% from the field, 38% from 3, and 80% from the free throw line, but her defense makes up for it as she's averaging 2.5 steals per game. Daisha has really been overlooked her whole career just because she's 5'5. But man, the back-to-back -back Champs really got a steal in this one. In Fair's five years in college, she dropped 3,403 points. That's literally top three in all of women's basketball. It's also good to know that Becky Hammond, her coach, is also an undersized guard. Fair said she was looking forward to learning from her, and I think that we kind of play similarly, she said. Fair was supposed to be selected in the first round this year, but fell. I honestly think it's kind of unfair for the Las Vegas Aces to get this kind of player. At the 24th pick, the Las Vegas Aces once again got under the steal, but Kelly tore ACL on May 3rd. She was projected to be a top 10 pick, but it fell because of her injury. She was one of the most decorated players in the Virginia Tech program, and they just announced that they would retire her jersey. She had 76 career career double doubles and 1500 rebounds. This season she averaged 18.1 points, 10 rebounds at 2.4 blocks. I know that Aces fans have to wait a year to watch her play but she's going to be a very good prospect. But now it's time to circle back to the main point of this video, Kay Martin. Martin's a very intriguing prospect for the Las Vegas Aces. This season she had the best year of her career, averaging 13 points per game, 7 rebounds and 2 assists. The trio of Kaylin, K 
Kate, and Gabby Marshall was really unstoppable for Iowa. The Las Vegas Aces will value her 37% three-point shot and 86% from the line. But let's see what the Aces had to talk about to Kate Martin after she got drafted. Hello, Coach. Hi there. How you doing? Hey, I'm great. How are you? Um, I'm greater now that I know I got you coming in. <laughs> Obviously, I think your IQ jumps off the charts. Um, and we're excited to get you with our group. Coach Becky Hammond sees some potential in her. She knows that she's a knockdown shooter and can be utilized in the best way. The last thing I want to talk about is the good and the bad about being a Las Vegas Aces fan. Firstly, let's talk about the good. They're reigning back-to-back -back champs and they kept their court together on team-friendly contracts. The contracts were very low, meaning that they have cash space to fill the maximum 12 roster spots. Most top teams are paying their top players a lot of money, meaning that they only bring in 11 players for their roster. The Aces had a really good draft too, and everything's coming up for the Aces this year. But with the good offense, comes to bad so let's talk about it it's gonna be a little bittersweet this year the team may or may not repeat this year but this is gonna be the final year we're gonna see all these players together almost every player's contracts are ending after this year except for asia and there's a very realistic chance that both candace parker and alicia clark retire after this season i'm gonna be honest as a liberty fan it's sad to see these players go but at least the liberty are gonna have the chance to win a championship but i guess that just makes the way for all the new rookies honestly for training camp k martin is a lock for me daisha fair is about 50 50 and elizabeth kelly is gonna join the team next season with Martin joining this team, I think that she can be the glue to another championship run. And miraculously, if she doesn't make the team, I'd honestly just leave watching the WNBA. If one of the best players on one of the best teams in college doesn't make this team, I'll be very sad. Martin had a lot of success at Iowa, but let's see what people think about her. Kate Martin, what a warrior. I mean, that kid, she was not going to be denied in that fourth quarter. Some of those takes she had to the basket, turnaround, strong jumpers. Um, you know, I don't know what happened to her nose, but it was obviously we all saw a lot of blood um that poor kid has broken her nose i think every single year she's been at iowa um but she is a warrior she's a leader um she's the the heart and soul of our team Legendary Iowa coach Lisa Bluter just said that Kate Martin is the heart and soul of a championship team. After getting injured in her first year and eventually missing that year, she just fought and fought and battled and battled. And lastly, let's see the wholesome reaction her family had when she got drafted. With the 18th pick in the 2024 WNBA draft, the Las Vegas Aces select Kate Martin. How about this for some excitement? Martin family. And her, she's got plenty of them here in the Quad Cities, family and friends celebrating tonight, including mom and dad. You can see dad actually out playing bags, came running into the garage. He may have been playing a little bit of bags, but now he's focused on his daughter. No doubt, all smiles tonight, watching their little girl live out her childhood dream. Yeah, the ride continues, right? You know, I'm excited for her. I mean, I don't know if this has been a dream, I think. Uh, Iowa women's basketball was a dream for her, you know, playing in championship uh, championship games back-to-back -back years were a dream, and I think she's reset her goals, and, and now she's getting to live this dream. I, I'm just excited for her, and hopefully she can make the team, and we got more basketball to watch in the future. She really has a supportive family that can help her out on her WNBA journey. The Aces are no doubt going to be an amazing team this year, but let's see what they can do with new rookie sensation Kay Martin.